This is Nick Ortner, creator and producer of The Tapping Solution and the 2013 Tapping World Summit. I'm so delighted that you're with us today. Today, it's a real honor to be where I am. I'm sharing this lovely couch in sunny San Diego with a mentor and a friend, uh, Louise Hay. Now, you know, usually with these kind of interviews, you have a whole long bio and I was doing a little research about what to say about Louise and the bio is a little bit long for this. I'm holding her book here, uh, You Can Heal Your Life, you might have heard of it. It sold, I think at last count, 50 million copies. Now, yes, so. yes. So do you want to do a little tapping? Sure. You know, for, for, sure. The, for the crowd. So I know we did a little, you had a little neck pain the last yes. couple of days, so we did some it's tapping. It's better, but we could always do a little more yeah. on that. So how, do? how deep do you want to go? Well, how do you, do you want to take me? <laughs> so let's, for, for people who weren't with us okay. privately the last couple of sessions, let's talk about the neck pain and what was going on and, mm -hmm. um, and our, our conversation. It started as some spasms? Yes, it started as some spasms that wouldn't go away. Okay. And I was feeling tremendous pressure back here and down my neck. And uh, I realized that this went back to a time when I was five years old mm. and... Um, my stepfather used to hold my head under water mm -hmm. and he had his thumb in that particular place yeah. and my thought was for some reason it's time for me to let this go yeah. and the thing is how to find out how to do it because yeah. I wasn't doing very well on it yeah. I was just pounding away at myself yeah. uh, but uh, that's been a pattern of mine for a long time just before I break through to something really wonderful yeah. it's like I do something in my body to clean up. To, to clean up yeah. or maybe just to punish myself one more time. I haven't mm. figured that quite out. But, you know, at 86, I'm still willing to go for it. Oh, honey. beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> well, tell me, so you said yes. to, to punish yourself one more time. What, yes. what does that mean to you? Well, as a child, I was punished so much. Mm. It was like a, a, it was a way of life for me and was one after another. And when I first entered the metaphysical world, uh, I discovered that every single time I did something nice for myself, I would hurt my body. Mm. It was like I wasn't allowed to have that yeah, goodness. Yeah. And I had to do a lot of work on dissolving that. You know, some problems are more sticky than others. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So I'm so, sure it's really reassuring for people around the world to hear that Louise Hay, the queen of affirmations, sold 50 million copies of her book, big, is still doing still, her work. Absolutely. Right? Yes, I, I think that's important you. because we do have a tendency in, in the society mm -hmm. to just want to be fixed, right? Yes, to and have, then that's and it. And that's it. When, yeah. when I get over this problem, this will mm -hmm. be it. I'll never have to deal yeah. with anything again. Well, you know, a lot of us just want to stop when we hit a safe place. Yeah. I mean, you've got a bit of money, you've got some nice friends, you have a good house to live in, you're okay, you know, and uh, you think, all right, that's fine. I'm not yeah. going to touch anything else. But I have watched me and how life works hmm. for me is that when I get to a really good level then it's like okay now we're going to deal with this thing yeah. yeah and there's another thing yeah. and I've learned to just say okay what do I do yeah. yeah you know instead of leave me alone don't talk to me yeah. about that yeah so the neck pain it, it, they're spasms so it doesn't hurt right now not right? this moment okay no. not Which since I'm, you walked in oh, the door well, this you know. morning <laughs> Which I'm your glad magic, it doesn't hurt. Your magic presence. <laughs> I don't know about that. I'm glad it doesn't hurt. It's always easier to tap when we can see a difference. But mm -hmm. let's tune into some of, and we did a little bit of tapping on what happened when you were five years old. When mm -hmm. you think of that memory now, how do you feel? What, what comes well, up for you? Well, it isn't as strong as it was. Okay. I so think you feel we, like it's... We dropped like 50% okay. in that tapping. So that was good. Okay. And I've done a little by myself, but it's not the same thing as working with a real pro. Well, thank you. <laughs> okay, so why don't we go back to... And let's just we'll both take close our eyes and just mm. sort of connect. We'll, we'll ignore everybody else out there and we'll close our eyes and just... And I want you to just... They can connect with exactly. us. Exactly. I want you to think back to that memory if it feels safe to do so. Mm -hmm. And how do you see that memory now? Is it, do you feel tension in your body? Is it a picture you see? Is it just something you remember? Well, it's a feeling. It's a feeling. It's a feeling. Okay. And what's it's the feeling? A, well, it's a, a, a feeling of fear. Mm. It's not the terror that it was, but it, it, it's still there because, okay. you know, the child is very helpless in that point. Yeah. And can't really do anything to get out of it. It's a trapped situation hmm. and where do you feel that fear in your body oh in here okay very much and yes. how strong is it zero to ten mm, five five okay 
Mm -hmm. And before, when we tapped before, it was much right. higher, so yes. it's going down. Mm -hmm. Okay. So why don't we do some tapping and we'll, we'll to move that fear. So tapping on the side of the hand. Even though I have this fear in my body. Even though I have this fear in my body. From what happened with my, with my stepfather. What happened with my stepfather so I de many years ago. So many years ago. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept and love myself. Even though I'm still carrying this fear in my body. Even though I'm still carrying this fear in my body. From what happened with my stepfather. From what happened with my stepfather. I choose to release it now. I choose to release it now. Even though my body doesn't want to let go of this fear. Even though my body does not want to let go of this fear. It's had it for so long. It's had it for so long. And it needs it to stay safe. And it needs it to feel safe. I choose to release it all now. I choose to release it all now. Okay, now let's go tapping through the points. The eyebrow point, this fear in my body. This fear in my body. Side of the eye, all this fear. All this fear. Under the eye, this fear about what happened. This fear about what happened. Under the nose, it was so scary. It was so scary. Under the mouth, I felt so much fear. I felt so much fear. Collarbone, I was only five years old. I was only five years old. Under the arm, and I didn't really know what was happening. And I didn't really know what was happening or what to do. Or what to do. Top of the head, I didn't know what to do. I did not know what to do. Eyebrow, the time has passed. The time has passed. Side of the eye, I am safe now. I am safe now. Under the eye, and I choose to let this fear go. And I choose to let this fear go. Under the nose, it's safe to let it go. It's safe to let it go. Under the mouth, it's time to let it go. It's time to let it go. Collarbone, letting it all go. Letting it all go. Under the arm, letting it go now. Letting it go now. The top of the head, letting it all go now. Letting it all go now. Take a deep breath. And as always, we tune back in. So tune back into that feeling in your chest and mm -hmm. shoulders and see if it's shifted at all. It has shifted, yes. So is it a five before? Where would you say it is now? Two. Two, okay. A dinky little two. <laughs> and then did anything come up for you as we were doing that tapping? Any other memories or any other feelings? Mm, I don't know. Nothing new. Okay, that's right. We're just looking to see. If, and was the memory very present for you when we were doing the tapping? It was, we, it was dissolving. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's do this, because it's only a two, and mm -hmm. I feel like we can positive affirmation it out. Okay. And I'm going to ask you to lead the way, because I can't lead the queen of affirmations and positive <laughs> affirmations. So let's start tapping on the side of the hand, and okay. you just give me a positive affirmation. What do you th if, you had, if, if you were talking to someone else, and they mm -hmm. said, well, I had this trauma mm -hmm. when I was five years old, and mm -hmm. I felt so much terror, mm -hmm. what would be the positive affirmation for okay, that? Okay, all right. <sighs> you know you have an angel. We all have angels, and you have a special angel that is your own. And in spite of all that you have gone through, this angel has taken care of you and protected you all your life. And you can call on this angel now to help dissolve the rest of this issue. Go to the other point. The rest of this issue, this issue of pain and fear, this issue of being terrorized by life. This issue of being helpless and not being able to have anybody take care of you. Feeling all alone and frightened. But you have an angel now and you know this angel is here. And this angel can cure. This angel is with you. This angel will protect you for the rest of your life. It will dissolve any issues that you've been through. It's time for you to be free now. You can run and dance and play and be who you were meant to be. And be who you were born to be. You are safe now. It's safe to feel safe. It's safe to be safe. It's safe to let go. There's a great freedom and a great love surrounds you. And all is truly well in your life now. And so it is. And so it is. Oh. Oh, that was interesting. That was beautiful. <laughs> I didn't know where that came from. If you weren't tapping along with us, I highly suggest you rewind the video <laughs> and do that tapping because that is really special to, uh -huh. to have that from you. Yes. So yes. let's tune back in to your body. 
Turn back into that fear and see anything's left. Oh, I think it's pretty much gone.